Hey guys, welcome back to Mark in Design. Today, we'll be designing a piston using Autodesk Inventor 2018. Let's get to the animation part. This is our animation. Here comes the plug gorgin pin, then the gorgin pin, then the piston rings, and the main body is the piston. So let's get started. Let's start making our piston. Let's go to File, Metric, Standard MM, Create. Let's choose the Start 2D Sketch. Let's choose the Plane, XY Plane. Now the distance of the piston is 65 at the top. So go to Line, draw a line from there. 65 divided by 2. That's the distance, 32.5. Now the distance of the width over there is 5, that's 5 mm, let's draw a line, 5 mm, yeah, perfect. Now a small notch is nothing but 65 minus 61.2, divide by 2, there we got it, now the distance over there is nothing but 3, or it's 2.4, so sorry. The line will be drawn from there for a distance of 2.4 mm. Okay. Now the height would be 3. Let's draw a straight line towards that position. Take line action again, line command again. Draw a distance of 3. Draw it down. Perfect. Again the distance would be 2.4. The height would be same. Now once this is done, you'll have to see the other measurement. It is 3.2. So let's draw a distance of 3.2. Okay. Take it down. Now distance over there is nothing but 1.5. Then there is a fillet. Okay, 1.5 and draw it over there. Yeah, perfect. We can trim that off. Mm, perfect. Once this is done, let's see the distance over there. It is 54. So we'll draw a line of 54 divided by 2 from the bottom. Let's go down. Okay, it comes up. 54 divided by 2. Draw a straight line and then connect it over there. This is how we get the top part. Now join the line so that we can finish sketch and revolve it. Go to revolve, choose the profile, then the axis, bottom part, click OK. Now we got the top part of the piston. Let's see the different sides. Okay, front, then the corner. Let's go to origin. XY plane, click on it. We'll draw a sketch over there, create sketch. The distance over there is 64. So we'll draw a line from top to bottom, having a distance of 64. The distance from the center is nothing but 32.5 minus 21 so that we get the notch or the cut over there the groove 32.5 minus 21 will give us 11.5 go to line command draw a line from there to 1.9 So we got the bottom edge that is 65 minus 62 divided by 2. 65 minus 62 divided by 2. Now let's join the lines. Okay. 
there we got it after this is done you'll have to finish sketch and again revolve it to get the bottom part of the piston later on we'll be joining the top and bottom part with few other designs profile axis x axis okay um let's go to the x y plane again let's draw a sketch let's take 32 mm as the line from top 32.5 Now let's take a distance of 44 divided by 2 because half of it would be taken. And let's draw a length of 17.5. So it comes down. We can draw a rectangle later by joining all the lines. Then it's 44. Take it high up. Okay. Draw another line. Get it over there, from there get down, finish sketch. Now we'll have to extrude the sketch to cut the portion out. Both the sides at symmetry, cut, pull it, okay. Once this is done, we'll have to draw another sketch. Let's go to the oh, revolution and hide it or suppress it. We should draw a sketch over there, right click and draw a sketch, that is new sketch. Draw a line from this corner to there and do the same thing on the other side and join them both. Join them, draw another line, now try connecting them, yeah. Perfect. They are connected. We shall do the same thing on the other side. Finish sketch and draw another sketch. Draw a line over there, connect it. Draw another line, connect the other part. Perfect. Finish sketch. Let's extrude it or loft it. Let's loft it. That plane and that plane, then okay. Distance from the center is 22 let's take the xy plane plane option offset plane 22 okay let's take another plane offset it by another 16 that's 16 divided by 2 is 8 and then again 8 on the other side so we'll be making the holes or the cylindrical part of the piston which you can see over there we have three planes and the cylinder is of different size this is the reason we are getting three planes over here we'll draw a sketch need sketch on the center plane the outer diameter is, the outer diameter is 22 for that we'll get the distance from the center that's 32.5 let's go to circle click on it get it as 22 finish sketch let's sketch on the another plane let's sketch on another plane the diameter is 20 same thing goes there draw a line 32.5 from top center 22 mm or 20 mm we'll have to do the same thing on the other plane
draw a line from top get to the center that is 32.5 draw a circle 20 okay now that this is done let's go to loft and loft them all connect them by using the loft command click on all three planes okay let's delete them or let's remove the visible let's remove the visibility diameter is 12.7 click on the plane new sketch draw a circle of diameter 12.7 let's extrude it to get a hole through the cylindrical path let's get so one place cut okay click on ok let's mirror it mirror that part mirror plane would be x y plane okay the other side of the piston is ready now let's click on the top of it new sketch the diameter is 59 so the center is over there 59 perfect draw a line it connects from there to there another line which connects from there to there delete them delete the connections trim the line trim it okay trim it all the distance is nothing but 4 over there which has a width of 9 4 that would be 3 3 9 divided by 2 is 3 we will get a rectangle we are drawing this to attach the bottom part of the piston to the top part 11.5 would be the overall distance okay 1.5 on either side because the width is 3 let's draw that on the other side that's 1.5 connected to the line finish sketch shall extrude it by 3.2 mm or all the lines all the diagram that we have drawn to next yeah peaceful once this is done let's mirror it I'll get the let's get the part back visible put extrude sketch Oh, visibility let's extrude it to the top click on everything perfect to next yeah click on ok visibility is removed now we shall do the same thing on the other side go to mirror click on the part that should be mirrored Go to mirror and xy plane. Okay. Once this is done, our piston is ready. Or is it not? No, it's not ready. Now go to new sketch, go to visibility, wireframe. go to sketch go to line there should be a straight line drawn from one side to the other 
perfect yeah open a sketch let's go to view get back the view let's extrude it extrude Okay, we need to get that other part extruded or cut off. Let's go to XY plane, new sketch. Let's go to line. Click on the point over there. Distance is 2.5. Take another line. Distance is again 2.5 because it is crisscross. We can use this method. Draw a line there. Another line here. Let's extrude it on either sides and cut it off. Symmetry, cut option, extend it. Okay. Once this is done, let's give it a material for that. Let's go to File, I Properties, the physical, it is aluminium apply go to file save as piston save let's start designing a gorgian pin for that let's go to file metric standard mm Create this is damn simple. Let's go to 2D sketch XY plane as usual. Let's uh, draw a line of 60 mm. Go to line, let's draw a straight line of 60. Another line of 12.7. Perfect. The diameter would be 10 over there so from the midpoint let's take 5 on either sides 5 the inner diameter is 8 so let's draw a line of 4 mm and then extend it by 10 mm draw another line Extend it till there and then draw a line. Perfect. Let's do the same thing on the other side, or better, we'll mirror it. Go to mirror, select the line, mirror line, click on that. Done. Let's delete it. Draw another line from there to there. Now we can attach it. Yeah. Let's draw a line. Let's draw a straight line and then click on finish sketch. We can revolve the object to get the symmetrical path. Click on revolve. Go to the point over there. Okay. Visual view, wireframe, yeah, it's perfect. Get back the visual style. Now let's give a material. Go to file, I properties. Let's go to physical. Let's use a property of steel, cast steel. Apply, close. We'll go to file and save the gojom pin. Let's start designing the third part, that is the plug gorgian pin. 
let's go to file metric standard mm as usual create let's go to 2d sketch xy plane the distance over there is nothing but 10 come on yeah 10 the distance of that is 8 that is 8 divided by 2 will be 4 because we'll be revolving it distance on the other side is 10 again so it'll be 10 divided by 2 that's 5 let's join it let's give it an arc 1.5 would be distance over there let's go to arc from there to there yeah perfect okay finish sketch and revolve it click on that and that axis okay we are ready with the pin so let's go to file give it go to eye properties physical give it some material the material would be brass soft yellow apply okay let's go to file and save the pin save as plug ground pin let's start creating piston rings for that let's go to file metric standard mm create let's go to start 2d sketch click on the xy plane the length of it is 64 the diameter is 64 let's go to circle and draw the diameter the outer diameter is 68 let's go to circle draw the outer diameter finish sketch the distance would be extrude distance would be to 2.4 mm okay now we'll have to cut through the piston ring through the center let's go to origin exit plane new sketch 45 degrees draw a line over there extending tab 45 let's draw another line extending tab 135 let's join the line or get another parallel line perfect let's do the same thing on the other side parallel line join it finish sketch now let's extrude it cut would be the option and submit let's give it some material let's give it our own material that is tough c1 that's a metal apply as it's not available in the list we gave it a name let's go to file eye properties physical let's search for the material we created tough c1 apply perfect let's save the file go to save as and name it as piston ring save now we are down to assembly so let's assemble all the parts let's go to file metric standard mm in the assembly section create let's go to piston we place it over there we place it from the place option let's rotate it let's go to place we'll take in the piston ring now we'll take in the ground plug rotate it 
let's go to constrain click on the axis of the gaussian plug click on the pistons axis the hole over there apply the axis the surface okay the surface are aligned perfect cancel let's go to place let's get the plug gaussian pin let's get the plug gaussian pin let's rotate it with using free rotate let's go to constrain get the axis go to the pistons axis apply get it out go to, let's go to constrain and again join them all perfect cancel let's do the same thing on the other side let's place it over there free rotate it and then constrain it constrain click on the axis the axis over here now let's join both of them click on that that apply let's place the uh, piston rings place it let's rotate it perfect click on the bottom part or the top part no the click on the part in between there and the axis yeah apply appropriate position so let's get the uh, ring touching the bottom part where it should touch that is the grooves okay apply We'll be doing the same thing with another piston ring place piston ring we'll rotate it and we'll place it constrain over there apply the bottom over there apply cancel so we are ready with the assembly for college purpose we can do the 2d drafting let's save it save it as assembly or the let's save it as piston assembly save for college purpose, we can do the 2D drafting. Let's go to metric, ANSI MM, create. We are here. Let's change the size of the sheet. Right click on ANSI, delete. Go to sheet edit, A3. Okay. Let's go to, let's go to base. We got the piston. Let's rotate it on the other side. Yeah, okay. Let's place it over here on the base again. Okay, this part rotate it again. Perfect. We got the top view, we got the side view and bottom view. Let's take the section of the bottom view. Perfect. Got it over there. Yeah. Let's go to base. Again, get a piston, rotate it. The isometric view. Let's get the scale up by two point two is to one. Let's get it to the other side. 
annotations the auto balloon click on that or select it peacefully done select placement vertical good click on apply correct cancel we can get then we can get in the part list for the part list click on the object click on ok we'll get it over there place it down at the bottom of the sheet yeah let's edit it custom let's add let's remove the description and add material ok add it then click on ok apply okay